This video is going to show you how to capture uh, schematic symbols and PCB footprints out of Outium's uh, Vault components into your own libraries so as uh, you can modify them and use them use them separate from the Vault. So um, the best way to do it is to set up a sacrificial project where you've got a blank schematic and a blank PCB like I've got here. Um, you'll have your own schematic uh, library and PCB library off in uh, in another project most likely but in this case I've just added them here for uh, for this demonstration. So we find whatever component we want and in this case I've got a small arm place them on the schematic so I've just got uh, two parts to this component we add them, we annotate them and we save that. Come across to our PCB project, import the changes, execute that. I'll stick this over this side. Okay, so we've got our, uh, our footprint here and our schematic symbols over here. So now it's simply a matter of you grab the schematic symbol, or the footprint in this case, copy, you can select anywhere, it doesn't matter in this come across to our PCB library, click in the panel over here, paste it, and that's dumped it in, it's kept the name, um, which means it'll link up automatically. And that can be saved. And across to our schematic, you only actually need to copy one of these. Same deal, right click in this panel over here, paste it, and it brings both part components across too. So now when we uh, when we look at the component properties, it'll have the correct naming as well, so that'll uh, that'll link up automatically. And that's all there is to it. If you, you can now get rid of, uh, well, you could get rid of this altogether, this sacrificial project, but uh, just to show that it works, come across to our libraries tab. Our parts are there. This is uh, this is our library. Dump both them on. U1A, U1B, yep, our footprint is there, import changes, ah, it hasn't found it, ah, that's because I, uh, so this, this component has three different types of footprints, I only grabbed the L footprint, which is the, uh, the smallest, um, so obviously you'd need to capture all three if you wanted all three. In this case I'll just change this across to the L. Save that. Come back. Project. Import changes. Yep, and this time it's worked. And there's that footprint that's come from our, uh, our PCB library. Right, so that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks.